Hey gun people. This is an article uh where this couple here is um arrested for the husband and the wife for evidently coaching their kids how to have sex with uh adults. Uh now when I first read this and when it first came out, it, it kind of implied that the adults were having sex with the kids. And um it says former military couple in jail accused of sexually assaulting two kids. Sexual assault is can also be defined as coaching or putting a child in a position to be sexually assaulted. So if they were coaching them to have sex with adults, that's where they're getting charged with sexual assault. Now the children were in the age of 14. Annette, the mom, I think was 31. Uh, the dad was 40. Uh, so they're having your kids do sex acts with adults. Now that's absolutely against the law, can't do it, etc. This article, when I first read it, reminded me, which I forgot because it was so many years ago, uh, I knew a dude that was in the military that told me he had sex with his sister and his mom. And he said his sister had sex with his dad. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? There's two constants in most all, and this is from my college days, I kind of remember this, is some facts you remember when you went to college that just stick in your mind. This was always one. There's two constants in all societies pretty much universal across the world. No matter what the language, no matter where they're at, the two constants in most all societies is respect for the dead and incest is bad. So you shouldn't breed within your own. Now, is incest and having sex the same? You know, I don't know. To me, it's the same. Some people may not be. Obviously, this guy who was in the military, who was a pretty good guy, he was married, he seemed stable, he was very well liked, he did a good job. Nobody would ever know. The only reason I know is because we ended up drinking one night with him and his girlfriend, and we were partying, and he just kind of opened up to me and, and told me. And his wife was like, I can't believe he's sharing this. And he goes, I, I told him if he ever has sex with my daughter, I'm going to cut his yanker off. And, I mean, I was just, it, you know, when you're drinking, you're discussing this. I kind of like thought-provoking discussion. A lot of people are like, I don't want to hear it. That's gross. Turn it off. And that's okay. Uh, my big thing with children is... I don't like people that steal innocence from children. And you can steal innocence in a lot of ways. And, and teaching your kids how to have sex on adults for you, while you're watching is stealing innocence. Absolutely wrong. Having sex with a child that doesn't have the ability to understand good, bad, evil, I think that's stealing innocence. However, I also think stealing innocence, oh man, I'm going to piss off some people here. I, I, I always step in it when I, when I touch what religion or certain. Guy. I also think stealing innocence from a child can be where you indoctrinate your child into some warped religion. Now, what is warped religion? Obviously, Christians don't think their religion is warped, and Muslims don't think their religion is warped, and the Kool-Aid guy in Jamestown didn't think his religion was warped. I mean, he had people drink Kool-Aid, and the parents that couldn't feed their kids Kool-Aid, mothers actually cut their child's throat because they believed he was a savior, and he was next to God, and there was a holy power. And you have people in Christians that believe the Pope is great, and anything he says is great, and we should follow the church. And you have people in Muslims, and you know, Muslims is great, and we got to kill the infidel, and we... So, religion with me as a whole is stealing innocent to an extent. Uh, some people could say educating a child the wrong education is stealing innocence. I think if you let your child grow up to be a liberal and you teach them liberalism, you're stealing their innocence because you're taking away their ability to have common sense thought and have reasoning because liberalism has nothing to do with reasoning it has about feelings and what it should be and how it should be and what can and what might and if perfect if that's what liberal it doesn't let you factor in facts statistics results the negative effects of liberalism it only teaches their side is liberalism a disease i think it is a disease uh is it a religion it's pretty close to a religion you have people who are die-hard liberals who don't give a shit about anything else. So, is incest bad? In my mind, it is bad. It's not good. It especially isn't bad if you're reproducing. Uh, there, there's a lot of history out there that says long ago when we had smaller homes and we weren't so industrialized, the only way kids learned about sex and sex education was not taught in school, was not taught by strangers. It was taught by parents who were sleeping either in the same room or in the same living area with no doors and they watched their parents have sex and they learned what sex was, what love was, what mutual relationship was. And that's how they learned it in the home. Is that bad? Some people would say it is bad to have sex for your kids. Some people say how to teach it, when to teach it. I mean, 
I like to think I'm a critical thinker and, and having all the facts and there's never really an absolute one way right and wrong answer to most things. It's subjective and what filters you put. These guys I think are absolutely wrong. They shouldn't be doing it. I'm sure the defense attorney is going to be saying, hey, they were teaching their call. They weren't doing anything wrong. The kids consented. It's not going to fly. In the law, it's pretty clear. Children are children, and when you start doing sex acts with children, they cannot consent. That's why it's called statutory rape. It's by statute rape, not by consent. You cannot get consent from a child who doesn't know. Can you get consent from a child to baptize them when they're a baby? Can you get consent to brainwash them that killing the infidels is good and they should always kill and their religion is best and to die and be a martyr is a good thing and you'll go to heaven with virgins and that's what you should live your life for? And Christians teach that if you don't do good, you go to hell and if you do good, you go to heaven. And, you know, so where do you draw the line on stealing innocence? To me, hey, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a valid question that deserves thought and process and discussion. Who's right and wrong? You know, that's a tough one. So uh, this article, when I first got it, it was about having sex. And I remember this guy's like, shit, I can't believe this guy's. He says he still goes home and has sex with his mom. And he still sleeps with his sister. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I just, I'm like, to me, it was very odd. It was very wrong. And it was hard for me to accept but that's one thing about the military is when you go to different cultures and different lands and you're meeting all these people who were brought up different ways, you're exposed to a lot of things. Is that good, bad, and different? I mean, a lot of religions are promoting, hey, you don't hang out with other people outside our religion. You don't hang out with people outside your race because our race is right, our religion is right, our beliefs are right, and the only way to keep you believing that is to stop you from exposure. I think that's bad. I think college is good because it exposes your thing. I don't think college is good when it only promotes liberalism and not thinking and believing one way. Again, if the prosecution, if you're on a jury and a prosecution and a defense each gives their side, the jury can make an educated decision based on all the facts is the way it should be. A lot of facts are hidden from the jury. That's why we get bad decisions. I think when people have more information, they make better decisions. I don't think hiding one side is the way to go. However, in this liberal world we're in, liberals are constantly censoring and stopping free speech, stopping education, stopping people from getting more information to think and make better decisions. Therefore, they can only reach the same conclusion that the people programming and controlling the information. When you control the information, you control the people. I know I went off a lot of areas here, but I thought it was interesting. Maybe you'll just think I'm just weird. All right, we'll end that there.